Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I just saw my title it. Today we are uh, going over the best custom tactics to grind up in rivals and in champs. And, uh, here's my team. Henderson, Soak in the middle of Laporte. Um, Marcus Alonso, Del Piero. It's a pretty basic team. I got this Henderson first owner on tradable. He's been really good for me, and I, I really expected that because he's in a team basically full of golds. Um, and then balanced, I don't use at all. I either start the game off in attacking or I start it off in defense. So I haven't changed balance at all. Um, ultra defensive. My defensive style is balanced with four depth. I mean, four width and three depth. Because I kind of want my team to sit back and for the width, the width to be kind of compact. Because when I'm using ultra defensive, I'm thinking, you know, I just scored a uh, a goal to to make my team in the lead, and it's like the 85th minute. I don't want him, you know, to to come back and score and us have to go to overtime and champs or you know take a draw. So I really want these guys to stay back and stay compact. Offensive style is just possession. You know, whenever I get the ball, I want to keep it. I don't want to make dumb mistakes. Width is at 5, which is pretty balanced. Um, players in box, I really want nobody in the box. So I only have it two corners, one free kicks, and one. Um, formation is a 4 triple 2 and I know it's kind of a... It's kind of a weird formation for ultra defensive, but it's actually an insane uh, formation. So I have my faster forward, who's Rashford, on getting behind and stay forward on defensive support, and everything else is on default. Del Pierre, who's a little bit slower, he's not much of a hold up player, but he's a good uh, passer. I just have him on uh, default on everything. Pepe and Martial, so your two cams, are going to come back on defense. Um, just because, you know, once again, it's ultra defensive. I want, I want as much defensive support as I can, if I can, as I can get. Marcus Alonso and Henderson, who are the defensive mids. I have them on cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, and cover center. Um, Laporte and Sanchez, the center backs are the same. Uh, keepers on comeback comfort crosses and sweeper keeper just so that if they do play an overhead ball or they do a cross I want him I want him getting it and then my wing backs are both on stay back while attacking and if they do make a run I want it to be overlapping and then defensive is still four triple two the uh, tactics is uh, pressure on heavy touch uh, 4 width and 5 depth uh, offensive style is possession and then I have 4 width 3 player, uh, three players in the box 2 corners and 2 free kicks and then oh this is actually changed up Del Piero should be up here with, Mar uh, with Rashford there we go I don't know that was changed but once again Rashford is on getting behind and stay forward Del Piero is on default again. This time, instead of uh, come back um, for stay back while attacking, my cams are all default. Pepe and Martial are my cams. And then Henderson and Marcus Alonso are on, on cut passing lanes and cover center and then balanced attacking support. So my whole midfield is on balance. Hopefully they'll, you know, they'll go up as a team and come back as a team that's the main goal here and then Laporte defense is same except um no actually I forgot they're on stay back while attacking my, my wingbacks are still on stay back while attacking Leno's still aggressive and then for the attacking formation I have 4-4-2 uh, press after possession loss. I've really been liking press after possession loss. I've I've tried pressure on heavy touch for attacking, and I don't really like it because I want to 
whenever I lose the ball, I wanted to get it back. I wanted that kind of a uh, counter-attacking kind of play. Pressure on heavy touches. More just to put pressure on the other team. And I, I don't know. I don't. I like pressure after possession loss better for attacking. Uh, four width, three depth, balance offensive style. Um, three width, just that, that's that's super low. Uh, most people have it on four or five. I have it on three, just because. In a four four two, my wingers don't really get used, and I want to try and get them going on the inside as much as I can without having the instru instruction to. Uh, to go for uh, go in the center, um, and then what is that? Six play uh, six players in the box, two corners, two free kicks. That's the formation. Um, Rashford and Del Piero actually switched up is fine. Um, here I have Del Piero on mixed attack, a default all the same. Rashford and get get him behind, and then he's not on uh, stay forward. He's on ba basic. Um, Marcus Alonso's on stay back and cover center and he should no wait okay and then Henderson is balanced attack because I want him to go up and down the field he's my box to box player and then get into box for our season cover center Martial is on default and Pepe is on default Ricardo Pereira, he's on stay back. My wing backs are on stay back while attacking and overlap. So, as you can see, Sissoko is a wing back in this. Just because I want him to. I want to Marcus Lonzo in the middle. Um, Sanchez, Laporte, same. And then Comfort Crosses and Sweeper Keeper. And then Ultra Attacking is on Balanced, uh, 4 width, 5 depth, fast build up for that counter attacking kind of play. 3 width, again, I want my, um, what is it, the wing backs in this to, to kind of be involved in the middle as well. And then, is that 7 players in the box, 3 corners, 2 free kicks. And then default on Del Piero again. Rashford on getting behind. Henderson on stay forward. Then the two CDMs on cut passing lane, stay back, cover center. The wing backs um, on default except for getting behind. And then the defense is all default. And Leno's on aggressive. So that is my. Uh, tactics. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.